to bring it in the studio but I'm not gonna lift it like I really want it there but we'll see but I'm just gonna open the package here yeah wish me luck because I don't know how to set it up setup looks like um, before I get started I do want to say some of the clips you guys have been watching if you are watching up until now they're from older footages there's nothing wrong with them but they might be a week old or week and a half old and not a lot changed only some stuff but I did want to give a walk through and I might do a video later on like a few months later on an update but so far this is the kind of mess that I'm in, okay? I'm just being honest. So this is the drill press that I got. I got it from Amazon. Ignore that random stuff over there. And as you could guess, I am very tired. Talk about having anemia. So I haven't really got around completing it. I, I'm just kind of embarrassed because I really wanted to um, drill press, but I'm just being honest. I haven't gotten around doing it and I want to use it with these items that are over there which I'll show what I mean um, but that's why I wanted that because um, yeah anyway I'll get into it a bit more because I don't want to make this confusing but let me let me get into a better angle so the when this is the one drill press I haven't used it I can't really do a review on it but then it's here like halfway complete um, that's just a plug which is going to my garage, but I haven't I seriously haven't completed it It's kind of embarrassing, but let me show you guys the fun part So this is kind of where I make all my toys. I make bird toys if you just randomly stumbled on this video But I make bird toys um, So I'll just start from Okay, actually, let me just explain where I got these shelving units I will also place my older videos of my setup. I think I have two. I for sure have one video uploaded um and I explained it in that video too. These shelves are from IKEA. They're called the Ivar series. You could pretty much customize it to whatever you like. There's a lot of that's the one thing I love about this setup. There's a lot of ways you could use it and that for me works well. For instance, what I mean by that is that these are both the same um shelves but with this one I got one extra shelf and with this shelf it's the same Ivar let me focus it's the same Ivar setup but then I didn't want to get the extra um shelf I don't know why I just I just didn't so yeah you could kind of also tell like this one they're smaller the spaces between these are a bit bigger and the advantage I have with this setup is that I have a lot of space as you can see but if I need more space, I could just go to Ikea, have it delivered to my home. I just have to kind of know the size and I already know that. But it's quite customizable and they have like different styles. I just went with like this basic style. But like you could have them similar to this. Anyway, you get the idea, right? It's customizable. But basically, the top area has my boxes. This area, they are the boxes that I use more commonly 
and then this area um, not so much so the shorter ones you see here I kind of made a mistake on you line I kind of got crazy with like box sizes and I got a lot of flat boxes now flat boxes are great if someone is ordering like a lot of stationery and stuff it's great but <laughs> I kind of overestimated my stationary items being sold they don't get sold a lot to be honest so I'm now I'm now having a lot of boxes that I don't use to be fair someone might get like only one toy and these work so most of the time they I don't use it simply because my toys the my my toys people get multiples but they are let me show you guys what I mean by this they are quite small I mean they look big but once you wrap it they're not like the folding kinds, which is this kind, which I'll, I'll show what I mean a bit better, but they're only two inches, the height is only two inches, and my my toys, sometimes they're a bit more bulky, so then these become small. Um, so yeah, the length and width are fine, but the height isn't. If it was three inches or four inches, easy to work with, but two inches, for instance, let me show you, this ball will not fit in it if that makes sense this is why i'm going to show you guys this too i really wanted to put these um solo balls and they actually don't work they they i don't know how else to explain it they their their height is more if that makes any sense i hope that does but yeah so i'm left with a couple of boxes this is the new one so these folding ones i forgot what they're called it's pretty much this I'm sure there's like a proper definition for it. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but then there are these boxes where I don't, I think the way I could explain it is I don't need to use technically, I don't need to use tape. I mean, I will, um, depends, but I don't need to. These are forage boxes, so I'm not going to put tape because once someone opens it, it, I feel like it will be a bit unsightly. So. It's gonna sound weird, but I might have to put this box inside another box because these are like the toy itself, if that makes any sense. These are like the forage boxes. So I don't want to put tape. Some people will use this for their stationary items. They'll put like their washi tapes and stuff when someone buys it, but then they'll paint the, uh, not paint, they'll tape the end of the box so no one really opens it. But the problem with mine is that this is part of the toy itself, so I don't want the box to be like I don't want tape stuff on it on the on here the front I might put like a bird sticker so that's what I do plan on doing but about that later so those are my boxes those tall ones are the new ones I'm really happy with them as I showed you guys over here so yeah this part I think I showed you guys they're my bird hut stuff um yeah it's really nice I I kept two for myself and I really like them so yeah there's that and then over here that looks very dark I don't know why on camera it looks very dark but let me show you guys what I have here so these are I put them in plastic plastic's not good but like you know that's how I organized it <laughs> and then over here I have my earrings enamel pins oh these are um, enamel pins I forgot to explain that over here I have these solo solo sticks um yeah they're great i really like them they look really aesthetically pleasing i don't know that that might just be me here this is kind of embarrassing but like <laughs> these are all my tools um and it's embarrassing because like i shoved everything in here oh i might show this wait i might show this in a few bit but my friend oh wait let me show it here my friend my best friend she got me this and it's so nice so it's like, I don't know what you call them. Um, I know what they are, but I don't know what you call them. They're probably a, um, a proper name for it, but it's so nice. It's, um, let, me, let me not hold it upside down, but it's my logo. So you put like candle melt, wax melt, not candle, but don't do that. And, and then you could use this. It's really nice. So thank you for that. That my friend got me my best friend so yeah that's what that row looks like this row uh, I'm just gonna zoom in um, that's my crinkle paper those are bamboo strings I forgot what they're called 
And then these are my heart baskets. These are quite common in the bird community, so I wanted to give them a shot. To be honest, I'm going to launch them with my summer collection instead of my natural bird toy collection. Over here, I have random stuff I'm too embarrassed to talk about. And then <laughs> over here, I have these. These are both the squares. So there's that. And then at the bottom, I have two different colored crinkle paper. And then I have my ex uh, extra huts. So this side of my Ivar shelf looks like this. And I'm just being honest, I'm not going to organize it for the sake of a video because it, no, I'm not doing that. So I'm going to start from the top. These are my more common boxes. Pretty much I run out of these every few months. I'm still a small shop. So I have 12 by 10 by 4 by 6, sorry. So 12 by 10 by 6, 8 by 8 by 6, 8 by 8 by 4. And then the last one over there, which you could kind of tell by their size, not sizes, but like you see a shift in their height. That one is 8 by 6 by 4. So they all serve a purpose. I kind of estimate how much um, space a toy needs. So yeah, that's those are the most common ones. Those are my embarrassing ones other than that last one. So over here, I have palm mats. I will give you guys a heads up. I get these palm mats at a retail price. Again, you could Google it. It's on Etsy and other shops also have it. But I get them on a retail price. To be honest, on the long run, I don't want to sell toys to you guys at a retail price. Because then that means I have to even increase the price even more, if that makes any sense. I prefer wholesale. Um, the only downside, I guess, for some people who are starting wholesale is that most of us will go to Alibaba or like fair and stuff. The problem with wholesale is that you might need to get 50 or 100 and then you have to decide if that's profitable for you and sometimes it's not. In my case, I'm going to go with seagrass so when these sell out and I have the circle one over there, they're quite big actually. When these sell out, I'm unfortunately not going to buy them again but seagrass it's still a square so i'll just use seagrass with the same designs i hope this is making sense let me show you guys what i mean so i'll like make this is this is not done yet because i'm trying to i have two ideas over here but they're not done yet so this is what i would do but instead of um palm mats these are palm i'm gonna use seagrass but it'll still have like similar toy designs i hope that makes sense but yeah so i'm not gonna restock those i just I'm not going to do that. Now, again, I'm not going to tell you guys the supplier I use for this. Not because I'm being stingy or anything. Maybe message me because I don't want people to go crazy and then be like I saw her. Can you do wholesale and then harass her? I'm just being honest. Uh, I don't know if she does it wholesale. It is an Etsy shop. Um, if you write, actually, um, I don't know, flower, unfurnished wood. I'm sure it will come up. Or like, write like cupcake or muffin i don't know um and this is like a butterfly one they're on etsy i will tell you that bit i don't mind telling you guys if you are a bird store actually believe it or not i don't mind telling anyone my stuff but i haven't asked their permission <laughs> i don't want to get in trouble so that is what i have they don't do wholesale as far as i am concerned but if you do find her and if somehow you'll be like i saw your products here ask her if she does do wholesale hit me up again <laughs> I really like your stuff. So, this is what they look like. I have like the clown one. Oops, I'm sorry. I have the clown one. And then I have the bird one. Oops. Anyway, we're going to go down here. Oh, let me show you guys this one. So, these, these are what they look like. Um, These I also got from an Etsy. They're different shops. That one I dyed. Food coloring, by the way. But, um, when it, that was for fall. The purple bats were for the fall collection, but then I didn't have enough time, so I can <laughs> This is embarrassing. I can sell them. So, yeah, you could find, I think, quite a few of sellers that sell these sort of stuff. Again, both of them from was from Etsy. So, over here, I have these. These are beads, but they're flat. Again, just probably right, like, natural flat beads. I don't know on Etsy and it should come up. I like ordered like a hundred of them. And then over there I have so much more of these beads. These are like the circle beads. 
I got this from Amazon. Now Amazon's great, but I did hear I was looking at the reviews of some of the other kinds of beads, and some people did say that the bag smelled a bit weird. Um, I got it from a trustable source, but if your bag smells weird, I don't know what kind of chemicals they would be using. So just be mindful of that, cause these these are good. I like them. They're really nice. I like that too. But then aesthetically speaking, I really like the flat design of these. Anyway, and then those are cups, forage cups. Ooh, oh, there. And then I got these again. These are Solo. Sola. Whatever. You get the idea. I think they're called Sola. Or, yeah, Sola. No? I'm second guessing myself. But anyway, they're easily shreddable. I'm not going to try proving it too, because then why, why would I ruin it? These are the same material. They're just hardier if that makes sense these are also solar and then these are palm cubes i recently got this um i'm gonna add them to my forage bin that i have not forage bin forage boxes um but i haven't made much designs with them yet these are mahogany slices the thing i learned new about mahogany slices i just recently learned this um from another bird shop so thank you very nice for someone to be looking out for another bird shop to be honest, there's a lot of competition going around, so I'm quite happy that there's actually a shop that actually takes their time to message me. And I didn't know this. She said, just in case you didn't know, mahogany pods are not safe for rabbits. So if someone is watching this, they're toxic to rabbits. Completely fine for birds, but toxic for rabbits. And now I know this because some people have gotten my mats, but then they had small animals. So, please be aware I sell toys for birds I don't sell it for other animals they're toxic for birds, uh, rabbits so yeah these are just um, a lot of people ask me what this material is I also can't find a wholesaler with this so I get them at a retail price hopefully I can find a wholesaler but anyway these are called corn husk poofs at least that's how I have been buying it and these are solo Sola. Why can't I speak today? Sola flowers, solo flowers, whatever. They're really pretty. I got these in different... Um, how would you say it? Different sizes. These are like samples, but I got a sample of 100. So they come with many different sizes and many different flowers. This Sola, I think many people know what they are. But if you haven't, they're easily shreddable. Like a macaw would not play with this. Not that a macaw is going to come to my shop, but... These are not meant for macaws. They're meant for like, I would say maybe like green cheek conures and down, like cockatiels. They're gonna ruin it right away, but like, it's great for them. I wouldn't even suggest it for like, yeah, nothing medium and up. <laughs> they're like better for extra small and small birds. They're quite nice. I really like their, them. Maybe if you have like a bird and you just wanna give them like a foraging toy. Again, Google it, right? Wholesale, solar flowers, wholesale. Get the ones that are not dyed, please, because they use acrylic paint. When I do dye them, I use food coloring. Uh, the stores that uh, that sell them dyed, they use acrylic paint. That's toxic to birds. Again, it's the same thing, but then these are, obviously, I removed the rope, so easy for me to use. I already showed this to you guys. And then this part, okay, can you tell? <laughs> I've been randomly brainstorming and just leaving parts, but this is... This is the heart. This is, I'm just gonna, we're gonna ignore that, okay? So, random stuff, wine balls, whatever, balsa. And then these are also the solo balls, but then the ones over here, they're bigger. Those ones are like four centimeters or six centimeters. We have these, I forgot their name. Oh crap, palm cookies. Okay, now I remember, palm cookies. Okay, balsa squares. And then sola. I don't know, these are not stars. To be honest, I saw only one shop having them, so I'm like, why not? I got them at a retail price, but they were really inexpensive, so I got that. And then these are stars. I have vine stars, small ones, and then the large ones. And then some random stuff there. I forgot what's in there. Some random stuff there. And some random stuff here. Okay, actually there's one thing, but what were these called again? I'm forgetting them. I'll name them. I'll show it to you guys. You know, there'll be like a text over here. I'm forgetting everything. Okay, I'm fasting, guys. It's Ramadan. <laughs> so, 
again these are mahogany but they're the pod itself they're not sliced so there's that i did okay this is embarrassing but like i got these from the same shop that i got these big beads but then they're so big and shout out to one of my friends when i was doing that uh the boxes she said oh my god i thought i thought you placed an egg there i'm like an egg what is she talking about and then i went back i'm like oh no it looks like an egg seriously i don't know what to do with these they're so large anyway they're seriously so large, I'm not even joking. They're so large, but I legit don't know what to do with them. So I'm just gonna put them into the boxes and <laughs> assume you guys might know what to do with them. But yeah, they're like the same stuff over here, pretty much. Those are the toys I have there. Okay, here's kind of hard to tell, but I have pine squares, whatever you wanna call them. Over here, I have flower palms. Is that what you want to call them? No, palm flower, not flower palm. <laughs> Similar, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> These are palm flowers. And then over here I have vine balls and then vine heart. So that's that bit over here. Okay, this is what the shelves look like. This is kind of embarrassing, but like, literally this is my setup. I'm not gonna even show this bin. Has random stuff in there. I'm not gonna even bother showing it. Over here I have Sola. These are all from the same wholesaler. I don't mind sharing their information. I forgot their website name, so I'll have it down below. That's where I get those from. This is, again, from the same company, but I get these flowers. Now, I recently got this. I'm so excited about this. I'm not even going to lie. So, I chose size 8 centimeter, and they're quite big. Um, I don't regret it at all. I'm very happy with them. And this is great because I was going on their website and they have so many flowers. Um, and I was like, oh no, which one do I pick? Because I liked all of them. And I was like, how about I like this one but not that one? And it was, it was really confusing. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Instead of what I did, I ordered the ones with the bark, a hundred of them. Or 50, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. And then I ordered the one that came without the bark. Why can't I speak today? I ordered the ones that came without the bark and with the bark. I think 50 or 100 of each. And they come with a sample pack. So you just pick the size. So I picked 8 centimeter. To be fair, they're kind of large. <laughs> so I guess if your bird really likes Sola, you could order these. And like I said, I'm going to put them in those. So yeah. And then these are like the same place again, same company. I ordered these Atta balls. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I ordered those. Now, this is what my table looks like. I promise it's normally cleaner. These, by the time you guys are watching this video, I think, don't quote me on it, but I think they will be released. And I'm not sure if they're going to for sure stay with these designs. But I, for the most part, I'm sure about this one. This one's just going to be called my Forage solo box something around those because this one just has solo in it for birds that really like shredding so i have uh, two big um what would i call these two big full flowers i have these sticks i have these balls and then these and then i have the mini flowers and yeah um i am gonna give a warning to when these boxes are out because i have the sample ones the flowers you guys would be getting to anyone who's interested, they'll be at random. But obviously, I'll pick pretty flowers for you guys, okay? Everyone's gonna get a pretty big, nice, decent flower. And if we get a fifth one, a fifth big flower, that's probably because one of them, I don't know, I didn't feel quite great about it, but I don't want to throw it in the garbage, so I'll give you one extra free. You know, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. These are really cute too, so I'll just like chuck them in there. <laughs> to be honest, that's really what it is. This one has, that's the one thing I will say, this one does not have millet. All of them do, but then this one doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not too sure. So this one, these have mahogany pods. Again, if you have small animals, this one is not for you. And I think I did that purposeful because I know small animals, regardless, people with small animals, they use these forage boxes. So... I might even put a disclaimer because I know some people with rabbits and guinea pigs, even hamsters, have ordered my toys and now I'm scared because I'm like, I don't know what kind of animal you have when you're ordering stuff. So toys with mahogany pods, I don't know, I might put a warning thing. Please don't buy it if you have rabbits or any animals that are, you know, I don't want someone with a rabbit playing with this and then, you know, something bad happens. But these are what this box 
kind of looks like. These are very good high quality millet. I bought a huge box of them uh, because the millet I got from my pet store was like, excuse my language, but no man, I'm not going to even say it. Like I'm just going to get demonetized. It was so bad and I was so annoyed. So instead I paid like 50 bucks. I'm not joking with you guys. And I got like high quality millet. So these are like premium millet from a shop that specifically does it in Canada. They have like a farm. So that's where I got my mullet. And then I cut that millet <laughs> in three. No, I cut it in four. Never mind. I cut it in four and then I gave the other one to Kiwi and them. So <laughs> they're like, they're enjoying a bit of millet. So this box, it has more hardier stuff. I did put like to um, two solo flowers, but then it has this. It has the these are a bit more hardier, like this wood and stuff. This is pine. So these are more hardier materials. Over here, again, there's similar stuff, guys. Just different stuff inside it, to be honest. But I wanted to give people like a different selection. For instance, these has like palm stuff. I would say like this does have one hard thing. I don't like I said, I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna be like this, but then this one it has more hardier texture it's just in case if you have something a bit more that he of, of a heavy chewer you might want this one i don't know like i said all of them have millet except for this one so yeah there's that there's those boxes and you can't even see my table so this is kind of embarrassing so <laughs> that is the rope that i typically use you could find them on amazon call right paper rope i use paper rope I think these are called either jute, jute, oh, I can't speak today, sorry. These are called either jute rope or hemp rope. I call, I use hemp rope, but I've heard people using jute rope. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I don't need to explain that one. That's my baby bird. She has passed away, but yeah. She passed away because of egg binding. If you haven't seen that video. Kimi was seven years, I missed her. She was seven years old. Uh, and then this is, I got this from a shop, so I could attach it to these guys, so yeah, um, there's that, um, yeah, um, some people have known about Kiwi passing away, some people haven't, but if you haven't, she passed away at our veterinarian, not our veterinarian, at an emergency veterinarian, I think they were... Millennial City Veterinary Clinic, don't quote me on their name, but she passed away at their clinic because it was a Sunday. I took her in and she passed away. When I learned she was egg blind, this was the picture I took of her. I'll have more pictures. She displayed no signs of egg binding and in the morning, it was very clear. It went from like zero to like extreme in a matter of hours. And in the veterinarian, in the clinic, they did um, therapy. Why am I explaining this? This is a studio vlog. But anyway, let me explain it to anyone who doesn't know. I feel weird to cut it off like that. But in the veterinarian, they did therapeutic care. And she couldn't pass the egg. She was pretty much in an incubator. The heat typically helps pass the egg, but she couldn't. So they took her to surgery. The veterinarian specifically said she did not pass away because of the anesthesia. She passed away because she had a lot of hemorrhaging. So the egg actually came out in perfect condition and it was intact. Like they didn't have to crush the egg or anything. But right after the egg was out, again, I don't know the reasoning behind it. She had a lot of bleeding. So she said chunks of blood was just coming out. So yeah, she passed away. I'm, I'm still sad about it, so. Like, obviously, I think a lot of people don't forget their birth, but, like, I've had her for seven years, and it's, like, it's, like, in all my years, by the way, this is, this is, I think everyone gets affected by their bird passing or their pet passing for various reasons. You don't even need to explain it, but it's so heartbreaking for seven years. My beautiful girl never laid an egg, never, not once, and then... The time she did, it was like she was way over maturity age. So birds after like three years old, hence they shouldn't even be laying eggs, even if they were previous layers. And breeders will not lay, have them lay eggs after like two and a half years or so, because it's just so risky. You're just, they're just not gonna make it. 
their muscles are not really prepared for it. And in her case, she hasn't even laid eggs before. So yeah, I have her here. I'm not gonna cry. We're just gonna move on. So yeah, I don't want that make. I don't want to make that depressing. But this is kind of what my setup looks like, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just gonna upload this video because I know it doesn't look all that great, but. This is what it looks like. Now, I will say before I close this. Now, I am going to put Kiwi, obviously, somewhere where I could see her every single day. I mean, the table looks great. But I'm going to put her there. Or I might put her beside my Avery. Like, outside the Avery. Who knows? Um, yeah, but basically, to those who are wondering where the hell are the toys, I mean, the toys are missing, you have everything but the toys, you only have the toy parts. The toys are still downstairs, so I will still upload the video, um, not upload the video, I'll have the video on my previous setup. The toys are still there, and so is the old table. Um, I have an issue where this wall, it's brick, and I try, I even watch YouTube videos, I could not, for the life of me, put a hole into a brick wall, so I couldn't hang them. So the hope was that I actually have them over here in display, and down the line I was thinking maybe like I could even have my, um, like a packaging table, and I'm still planning on those, but like I said, year, years or a few months down the road, I don't know if my setup is going to change, I might take over the garage, who knows, hint hint. Um, but for the time being, my, none of my toys are here. So this is a partial studio vlog. I'm so lazy going downstairs and filming that part. I'll just have that video down below. It's the same setup. So that part hasn't changed. But the hope was that I'll have all my toys here. Who knows? I might still be able to do something with this huge wall. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you guys. Um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.